hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be doing my hair and today i'm going to be doing a sewing on my hair but i'm going to be doing a braidless sewing or an la weave which requires some sort of micro links i'm using the same loops that i used on my previous extension set so these are going to work as a bind between my hair and the extensions but this time it's going to be weft i'm not going to be doing like single individual pieces so i've already done my puttings as you can see because it does take a little bit long so i've done my putting i've already installed my little beads or cylinders all over my hair and this time i didn't do a lot of leave out i only left like the middle part and also like the front going around like up to here up to my ears the back i'm going to be attaching the weft as well because as you can see my hair the back is like really really short and this is the hair that i'm going to be using this is the hair that i've had in my stash for a really really long time i have three bundles here of what used to be 26 inches i just cut it down to like 20 inches because it was really really long and if you know me like i'm really really short i'm like 5'2 so 26 inches is really really long and i'm not really about that long party hair i also added like, some color because i wanted it to be a little bit lighter and i used this bleaching powder and developer this is a 30 volume developer and i only put it on for like 10 15 minutes and i rinsed it out i didn't want it to be too blonde so yeah that's how i got the color and another thing that i did was that i tripled the weft because i want as much volume as possible and to attach the wefts i'm going to use some nylon weaving thread which looks like this and a curved needle so i'm gonna go ahead and start at the back and then i will come and finish the top with you guys so i've done the first three rows and this is how it's looking so far it's getting a little bit full so this is how far i am i think i've done about five and this is how it's looking so far so i am back now i am almost done i'm left with one line and i'm going to show you guys how i've been doing them so first i like to take my needle and put it through the uh, weft like so so i'm gonna lay this down so this thing are really really strong they're like tight like they're not going anywhere and the only way to remove them is if you use a plier which means my sewing won't slide off unless i remove the cylinders so i'm going to have to like treat this as like a braid when you have braids and you sew under so these are just going to act as like braids so it's really really straightforward you just sew under your little beads and secure the weft So now it feels secure. I'm gonna continue and just continue stitching around, like making sure I am actually like grabbing some hair under. And this is also why I did 
triple my waves like this one is doubled so some of them are triple some of them are double this one is doubled and the reason is because most of the time when i do like a sewing i tend to lose one web if i'm doing like two webs sometimes i will lose one behind and then end up just stitching one and i'll have to redo the whole thing so i find that it's actually easy for me to double weft or triple weft the wefts before attaching them onto my hair so i don't have to worry about missing one piece of weft behind And I'm just doing like a simple stitch. I don't know what it's called, but I'm not really like tying anything. I want it to be easy for me to remove. When I remove it, I'm not really like tying it. I'm just doing like a simple basic stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and style this hair and then I'll come back and show you guys the final results. So I'm back now and I just finished adding some curls onto my hair and I think it looks really really great with all the uh, colors like the highlights that I did. So yeah this is how it's looking. I haven't combed it and I did use my razor comb to like feather the bottom a lot because it was like a blunt cut i'm just gonna take a wide tooth comb and comb out this curls like look how beautiful this is i hope the color is like showing enough but it's really really pretty it's not like as blonde and it's kind of like a nice copper color so i'm just combing them out Oh wow, this looks really, really nice. And like my leave out is actually like blending really, really nicely as well. So 
so i'm gonna take a little bit of hairspray and just spray it on like this little flyaways that are just like sticking out so i'm really really happy with how it turned out like it's not tight at all like other sewings like you know when you rub your sewing sometimes you feel like braids like there is not that feeling like everything is just like smooth i feel like i'm wearing a wig but i'm not wearing a wig i'm really really loving this and the volume is absolutely amazing it's perfect like it's actually better than what i did before i'm just gonna turn and show you guys the back so you can see how it's looking like it's really really beautiful it's seamless like even though i can't see it but i can feel that there's nothing showing which is great so my hair is still showing in between the tracks but this is the best sewing ever like i'm loving it i'm loving the color i love the volume i love the length it's not too long it's like the perfect length for me and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.